Hey guys, Ultra still here, and we are continuing the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. So the last part, we got the legendary iron boots. I think they're legendary. But anyways, so these allow us to uh, withstand fierce winds and wobble to stand our ground. And they're pretty useful for that, you know, standing on the ground. And staying there. Uh, and in this episode... Oh my god, you punk. Oh my god, you punk. I'm gonna put my sleep on. But anyways... So in this episode, we're gonna tackle something. This is a enemy gauntlet. Alright. So, so uh, anyways, thing about this episode is we're gonna be taking on a lot more enemies because in the previous part there was a section that we did where we fought a lot of enemies. And this episode, uh, we're gonna keep doing that because under that big rock over there. That rock over there, there is a huge enemy gauntlet that we're going to be taking on. So brace yourselves. So because of that, I feel like this episode is going to be longer than usual, so... Hooray! This should be fun. This should be very fun. Here we go. My magic armor and electro suit power up. I will be unstoppable. Double attack power. I won't receive any damage. The last time I had it. Look how much I got. Come on. You can't tell me I'm gonna fail on this. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be finding a lot of enemies you've encountered in your quest before. And uh, unfortunately, you're gonna notice that these enemies in here, in particular, don't really drop any items or rupees, so that's kind of annoying. So, I recommend you use your grapp grappling hook for some of these. Just a thought. So uh, it gets harder and harder. It's pretty fun. I actually do like this place. It's a good challenge. That is just really weird. Oh, look, one of my favorite enemies. It is vital you come here because there is something important that I should mention in here. Oh, it's so rude! Back off! Just come out of nowhere. So good. 
fun every time you beat like one section. That was the fire section of the enemy gauntlet. You get like rupees in between if you want to continue or not. The exit is back there if you don't want to continue uh, doing this. I'm gonna stop collecting treasures. I already have a bunch of stuff. Yep, I'm good. I am so good. <laughs> in your rotating specialties. Oh, I'm waiting for you to get back up. Yeah. Oh, sweet, I can just get through that. This shows boomerang. These guys go down with one hit. Pretty simple. Oops. I killed them all. Why couldn't you despawn sooner, fire? You're fired. I'm fired. Not really. I hope not to be. I'm to suck. Pretty uh, swiftly. Let's equip arrows. Do I even bother with the likes of you? And the likes of you! Come on! That's not supposed to hit me! My hit is supposed to hit them first and die, and then they're not supposed to hit me because they are dead! It's so simple, game! Why can't you understand these things? Okay, also, uh... Those guys go down with one hit from a fire arrow, so... Just a FYI. And I hit both of them with a fire arrow, which was just pretty cool and unintentional, but... And as you get further, these jars hold more money. And I got two purple, two purple rupees from uh, those two jars. Hi. Bye. That was an epic fail. No, it wasn't epic, it was just embarrassing. But anyways. Moving on. Blah blah blah. I hate it when I do cringeworthy stuff like trying to hit the enemy that I miss a bunch of times. Like five gazillion times. It's embarrassing. Anyways. I'm missing I missed that. I'm missing you guys. So we're about almost halfway done with this gauntlet. It's pretty long, so that's something. Take that. And I'm out of here. 
This is there is no enemies. There must be not totally Boko blends in here. Oh, it's worse. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, shoe jellies. I actually forgot about that. So, anyways, let's go ahead and trigger all these. What we can do is spawn here. Oh god! Kill something. At least we had a blast. These bubbles are pretty annoying. Called. Strange name. You guys aren't even round like a bubble. Why would they name you that? I'm pretty sure that kind of bird is real, or has like a rainbow colored beak or something. And... Skulls... I don't like you, and you don't like me either. Especially these guys don't like me either. Nobody likes me in this game. See myself, I just went in. So this time we got two of them. Just fight it getting harder and just keep on yeah, That's why uh, I recommend you get the Alexa soup. Because it helps not only replenish your health, but increases your sword power. And they can be very effective if you use and this is, uh, this would pretty much be the end of this if you wanted to, you know, uh, just get the important item. But there's actually another item you can get while you're on. And I'll be exploring that soon. But basically the second item you get is a either a piece of heart, if you're playing the game version of this game, or if you're playing the new version, the second item is a, um, it's an equip item. I don't want to spoil too much about it, but it's pretty rare. And it helps you see the health on enemies. So you can tell how much health that they have. It's like a health meter. I get the fire. That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah. And then we're going to continue this because we're not quite done 100% with this place. This is optional. We already got the important thing, which was a Triforce chart. And I did not see that guy behind me. <laughs> okay. I literally did not see the guy behind me. That's terrifying. So, uh, one thing you can do is. So one thing you can do is just throw bombs at them and. We can discuss this in the shadow temple. You can also jump attack them and stuff, but it's more riskier. Give me that! Oh! Uh, Please go away. I think 
that just about takes care of all of them. Now, despite the magic armor being all good and dandy, there are some enemies that can actually get past it. Those greed it, for example, you'll notice that once they started uh, shrieking at me, they lowered it down and got rid of it. And there's also these guys, the magic bubbles, or just blue bubbles. They like to curse you, and unfortunately that gets past your armor. But I believe these are the only two enemies that can get past it. The magic armor, to be exact. So yeah, be very careful about that, because that is pretty annoying. But nonetheless, we're doing pretty darn good. Whatever you want. But anyways. This room we have some pose. Pose before bros. I always say. Did you just how dare you just took himself to the light? I mean, normally that's a positive thing, but in this case that's pretty bad. Pretty evil. Ironically. Yeah, buddy. Somebody try and do this here. Nope! Not falling for it. Come over here! Okay, I'm gonna take care of that. Pulls are such a short to kill. Like, it's not even that they're difficult, it just takes a while because you have to shine them with your light. Winged versions of those uh, enemies, by the way. You know, those bugs. They have a uh, winged. and they have gold feathers. In case if you're interested. Almost done with this place, actually. Just a few more rooms of this section. I call this one the Earth Temple section. We're seeing a lot of enemies from the Earth Temple. And I think we're pretty much done. One of you, Zack, and the other Snyder. How dare you ruin my Superman and Batman movies? I, I believe that I believe Zack Snyder had some roles with those. I'm not an expert on superhero movies, but I know he is a popular person. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
section and we are done with this place. Oh, it's been a long video for... Dang, there's a lot of money. A lot of progress, you know? Yeah. I just accept it. You know what? That's a lot of money. I think it's like over 200 rupees, I'm sure. And I do not like where this is going already. Ah! Oh, I remember this place. Okay. So first, I'm going to set a bomb. Well, first, I'm going to let them get close to me. Ooh. Also, I believe the electric ones can get past your magic armor. I'm not going to try it because I'm way too far and I do not trust this guy. I really like how when you shoot your arrows to the ground and if they stay, you can collect them again and reuse them. It's really convenient. vulnerable to an attack. No, you had to your way. Okay. I believe these are all these guys. Oh, these guys. Actually, no, I'm not going to try it. Because then while I'm uh, intimidated by the shriek, in me, that happens, it's close. If that happens, my magic armor will save me. And So good, folks.
Let's uh, take care of this guy. Sword. It's so powerful and just kills everything really quickly. I'm not quite sure. Oh no, this is the final room. Get ready, guys. Four mighty darkness. Four dark Do we get for coming all this way for? You got the hero's charm. This mystical trinket gives you the ability to see the life forces of your foes. Touch its icon, the item's screen, to equip it. All right, so let's uh, do that right now. Let me show you what this thing can do. So. When you encounter an enemy, you're gonna see the health meter of the enemy, so let me just stand straight. Yep. Should be a chew jelly right here. So when you target it, see that magic bar? Not magic bar. That health bar. That's the enemy's life power. So it's pretty good if you wanna, like, I don't know play with your enemies or see how strong they are or whatever. I don't know. I just think it's kind of a bragging right thing. It's nothing too special, but at least it looks nice. Smile! Anyway, so yeah, that's all I wanted to do in this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, peace, and have a good night. In the next episode, we're going to try and take on the next temple, which is over here. So uh, before we do that temple, actually, we need to find... Uh, the guardian to get us into that temple because there's a wall so yep we shall see what's going on there thank you guys for watching